More than 100 law firms in the West Midlands will close as the government looks to save money on the justice system. Under the plans, more than £200 million will be cut from the criminal legal aid budget. Lawyers in Birmingham claim the changes will be devastating. Our special correspondent, Peter Wilson, has the details. Walking up from the cells to stand in the dock of the Crown Court, the jury to my right is on a, the judge in front of me, the lawyers to my left. Whether you're guilty or innocent, standing here is likely to be one of the most nerve-wracking experiences of your life. But the whole way that this system is funded is about to change. In recent months, a number of law firms have gone out of business. Scores of jobs have been lost. But it's claimed that more than 100 firms could close if the government goes ahead with plans to cut legal aid. The proposal in the consultation is that 20 contracts will be awarded across uh, the West Midlands for solicitors' firms. Well, if that happens, you will see your local high street firm just be wiped off the face of the map. Richard Atkins is a Queen's Council and part-time judge. Barristers face up to 30% cuts in their fees, but aren't some fat cats who've been enjoying the cream for far too long. We all know that the country is in financial difficulty, um, but I haven't heard anybody else being told you've got to now work for rates lower than you were on 10 years ago or more. Um, I haven't seen the Lord Chancellor saying that he's going to cut his fees um, or MPs. So we're, we're an easy target. Everyone likes to have a pop at a lawyer um, until they're in trouble. Legal aid costs the country a billion pounds a year. The Ministry of Justice says that they have to look at how they can deliver better value for every penny of taxpayers' money that's being spent. Solicitors face cuts of 17.5%. They claim that defendants will have no choice over which lawyers to choose under the new proposals. People tend to become involved in what they call guilty plea factories. There aren't people who are assessing the evidence and checking whether or not there is in fact the evidence to substantiate the charge that's been alleged against them. Best value, law or poor justice, will have to await the jury's verdict. If the changes to criminal legal aid are agreed, they'll be introduced by the autumn of next year. And Peter's back in the studio. Now, Peter, we've heard a lot there from the lawyers. What's the government saying tonight? Well, the Ministry of Justice says that we have one of the most expensive legal aid systems in the whole world. The budget last year was a billion pounds. They want to shave 220 million pounds. They also point out things like uh, one trial last year cost eight and a half million pounds. And that also uh, one and a half million pounds was given to just three um, barristers. And the Minister of Justice says that um, those figures just aren't sustainable. So will lawyers really be worse off? Well, they say they will be. Um, they say that uh, even if they win one of these uh, tenders for the, for the contracts, they'll uh, be receiving less than 20% uh, of what they currently get. And uh, it's worth pointing out that there will perhaps only be 36 firms across the whole of the Midlands, when bearing in mind there are currently 55 in Birmingham alone. OK, well, what will this mean for the rest of us? It means that if you have an income of over £100,000 a year, you won't be entitled to legal aid. And we're likely to see an American public defender style system where you won't get the choice over who defends you in court. OK, Peter, thank you. A woman from Hereford has died. In